India's online shopping boom is pushing e-commerce retailers to go all smart with the help of robots. One of the ways in which e-commerce has changed retail in India was in the demand for fast and reliable logistics at scale. Companies like Flipkart, Amazon and others are moving thousands of packages through their warehouses every single day and meeting this demand is a tall order through automation. With an increase in consumer demands, automation is making things easier for warehouses and fulfillment centers. Grey Orange, an Indian AI and robotics company, designs, manufactures and deploys robotics for automation at warehouses, distribution and fulfillment centers. They have been building tools that can make warehouses much more efficient. Gadgets360 recently got a chance to visit a demo zone at the company's facility near Delhi, where it showed how its robots work. There are two kinds of robots being used at warehouses. Butler, which is an artificial intelligence-powered robotic system, helps pick products from shelves in the warehouse. Second is Sorter, which automates the sorting of outgoing packages in a distribution center. The Butler robot carries mobile storage units to the pickup stations. The butlers usually navigate the warehouse floor, retrieving mobile racks and delivering the racks to pick stations for manual picking of orders from the shelves. The operator can pick and put items without having to leave the assigned station. After scanning the barcode of an item, instructions on the screen guide the operator where to put within the pick-put station. After placing the item in its designated place, the operator presses the lighted lamp to complete the picking process. The robot is based on goods-to-man process and focuses on reducing the walking and search job done by humans. I think when you look at our product, we have been uh, you know, very, very focused towards how do we make human beings uh, super effective inside the warehouses uh, you know i think uh, pretty much everything is very very uh, you know focused towards that and uh, so we we have seen uh, you know multiple areas where uh, there is a, a lot of uh, i would say activities that is not very valuable to human beings whether it's the likes of uh, walking around 10 to 12 kilometers uh, in a day or uh, you know you know just sorting packets and and things like that in fact that also included a decent amount of walking so uh, we try and make sure uh, you know that we remove that non value add Robots in a warehouse setup are pretty much autonomous, which means they have to understand the surroundings, apart from other factors. Grey Orange says that this is one reason why robots are fitted with multiple kinds of sensors. Despite automation making things easier at warehouses, there's a fair part of it which is human. Picking up individual items and putting them for delivery, quality check and packaging are all still being carried out by humans. There is still a fair part of it uh, which is human, um, you know, the quality check systems are still uh, human, the picking process is still human. Human. Um, and uh, in some of the cases, the packaging process is uh, also human. So packaging, normally if you're doing very, very simple books kind of thing that you can pack automatically, but for more complex products, packaging is also okay. human. Yeah. The sorter is a high-speed sorting system that profiles and routes packages based on customizable logic, helping companies with multiple supply chains. Grey Orange claims that the sorter can sort up to 6,000 packets an hour for warehouses. There are multiple sensors that weigh and measure products, ensuring that the line is moving correctly. With an increase in consumer demands and companies like Amazon strengthening operations in India, we can expect automation to play a major role. At the same time, while robots may be making things easier for companies, humans are still relevant and important in the overall chain. Humans will always be required, the robots just make the ecosystem much more sorted. So thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.